Hello. Today I am going to explain something about a few short notes. First one is exotic fishes. We have studied about exotic birds. Likewise, there are exotic fishes which are successfully cultivated in our country along with the indigenous fishes. So what are exotic fishes? The fishes imported from other native countries into our country for fish culture are called as exotic fishes. And such filter, fish culture is known as exotic fish culture. The opposite word of exotic is indigenous, native. In India, various food fishes, game fishes and larvicidal fishes are introduced from other countries. Most common exotic food fishes are tilapia, T-I-L-A-P-I-A. Species is tilapia, T-I-L-A-P-I-A, tilapia, tilapia. Mozambica, M U -S, S A M B I C A from Bangkok. Second one is common carp, Cyprinus carpio, C Y P R I N U S, Cyprinus carpio, C A R P I O from China. There are three varieties of common carp: mirror carp, scale carp, and leather carp. The mirror carp is most common. Now the next one is grass carp. These are all exotic fishes, not native. Huh? Tino pharyngodon, C T E N O, C T E C S silent, C T E N O P H A R Y N G O T O N. Tino pharyngodon, Idela, I D E L L A, from Hong Kong. Next one is silver carp, Hypophthalamectes, H Y P O P H. A P T H sorry H Y P O P T H hypophthalamic this H Y P O P T H A L M I C H T H Y S hypophthalamic this molitrix M O L I T R I X from Japan. These are all edible fishes. They are used as food. Next is Ospronemus gorami. It is also edible as well as aquarium fish. Ospronemus O S P H R O N E M U S Ospronemus Gorami G O R A M Y Gorami commonly known as Gorami from Mauritius and Java M A U R I T I U S Mauritius and Java and the last one is there are so many other fishes too Carassius Carassius C A double R A double S I U S Carassius Carassius there is Carassius, Carassius or Carassius oratus too. C A R A double S I O S C A R A sorry A U R A T U S Carassius or these are commonly known as Carassius oratus is known as goldfish, which is an aquarium fish. People are very fond of this goldfish. And Carassius, Carassius is Crucian curve from England. Okay. Now about composite fish culture. What is composite fish culture? When Several species belonging to different ecological niche of a pond. Niche of a pond means there will be a single water body that there are different surfaces which are used as the food surface. That is all the water body is not utilized by a single species. So to different, you, have, uh, you are aware about this term ecological niche. You have studied about it in ecology. To different ecological niches of a pond are cultivated together. The available food in the pond is utilized most efficiently and there is maximum production of fishes. So I am repeating. When several species belonging to different ecological niche N -I -C -H -E -S, of a pond are cultivated together, the available food in the pond is utilized most efficiently and there is maximum production of fishes. It is called composite fish culture or polyculture or mixed fish farming. What is its aim behind this type of farming? What is the aim? All available niches are fully utilized. All surfaces, bottom as well as column as well as the surface. All surfaces are fully utilized. Composite fish species do not harm each other. Production increases 5 to 8 times than monoculture. If we culture only a single species, then the yield is much poor. But here, the production increases 5 to 8 times than monoculture. In India, polyculture is an old practice 
and the major carbs like katla 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 is a surface feeder labio rohita column feeder and sirinus mrigala that is or labio cal and labio calvasu sirina mrigala and labio calvasu they are bottom feeders they are generally stocked together in the same pond so you can combine katla katla labio rohita and labio calvasu or katla katla labio rohita and sirina mrigala at a time in a pond Recently, exotic carps, hypocalamictes molystrix, I've just told you, silver carp, Inoperangodon idella, grass carp, and Cyprinus carpio, common carp, have been selected for culturing along with the three Indian, that is indigenous major carps, with remarkable success. Silver carp, though a surface feeder, feeds only on phytoplankton, and Katla, also being a surface feeder, feeds on zooplankton, so there is no competition among these two species. Common carp is omnivorous bottom feeder utilizing mainly the food which Sirinus bigala is unable to consume. The grass carp efficiently utilizes all noxious and excessive macro vegetation and occupies an ecological niche not utilized by any other fish in this association, in this group. Rather, its fecal matter serves as food for the common carp and also accelerates plankton products production and growth of the fishes. Experiments conducted recently showed that the production of fish can be increased by eight or nine times if all these indigenous and exotic species are cultured together. Okay, see you.